Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Ron Mackenzie Lafergi. The sun is the center of our solar system and is integral to our lives here on Earth. But what if it randomly disappeared for an hour? Let's explore. If you'd like to hear more weird hypotheticals, check out our biggest what ifs playlist on the channel. But for now, it's time to ask the question, what if the sun disappeared for one hour? Well, we wouldn't know about it right away. You may have heard before that it takes about eight minutes for the sun's rays to reach us. This is because in a vacuum like space, they travel at the speed of light, or 299,792,458 meters per second. But did you know that the same was true of gravity? Newton didn't. He thought it was instant. But Einstein set the record straight. Now we believe that gravity is caused not by mass, but by the curvature of space, which is determined by the sum of all the matter and energy in it. When the sun first went out, space around it would change, going from curved to flat. This would send gravitational waves outwardly, like ripples in a pond, with the location of the sun in the center. And since these ripples are subject to the same universal speed limit as light particles, these waves would move at the speed of light. So that's the good news. We would have an extra eight minutes or so before the effects of the sun's disappearance hit us. But then again, when it came back, it would take an extra eight minutes and slightly more, which I'll explain later, for gravity to return. So it more or less works out in the wash. But what would happen once the sun's gravitational pull ceased to exist? Well, all of the planets orbiting the sun would no longer be in orbit and would shoot off in whatever direction they were traveling at the time. It would be like swinging a sock with a ball in it over your head, then suddenly launching it. The planets would all go off in various directions, traveling at their respective gravitational speeds. This might seem dire, but relative to our distance from the Earth, we wouldn't actually travel that far. First of all, the Earth is roughly 150 million kilometers, or 93 million miles, away from the Sun on average. It changes due to its elliptical orbit, but for the purposes of this video, we'll stick with the average. The next thing we need to know is that the Earth is traveling around the Sun at roughly 110 kilometers per hour. It would maintain this speed for the hour, which would take it a little bit out of its usual orbit. If we draw a triangle between the Sun, the Earth's position before the disappearance, and the Earth's position after it flew off tangentially from its orbit, we can find the new distance from the Sun. I'll save you all the big numbers, but this works out to the Earth being about 38.88 kilometers further from the Sun than it normally would be when the Sun returned. This is the drawing I made when trying to figure out this bit. As you can see, the orbit is not elliptical, the sun isn't even in the center, plus the dimensions are all off. It is a truly terrible diagram, but it still helped me to visualize the math, so maybe it'll help you. I should note, it would probably take a bit of time for gravity to actually pull Earth back into orbit, but I wasn't able to find the applicable calculation. So we'll ignore that aspect for the moment and just assume that the Earth would immediately begin orbiting the Sun. This here is why I said that it would take slightly more time for the Sun's gravity to start acting on Earth again, because it would be slightly further away from the Sun by that time. However, the time wouldn't be all that different, because if we take 38.88 divided by 150 million, we see that it would only be a difference of 0.000026%, which in scientific terms is like not that much, you know? This actually brings us to our next question. If this change in distance from the sun would be so negligible, would the one hour disappearance actually have any effects? Well, let's start with the ways that this wouldn't affect us, at least in the near future. It's possible that this would have an effect on the orbits of planets such that their eventual place millions of years from now could be problematic, but it likely wouldn't change things in the near term. There would still be plenty of heat, temperature wouldn't really be affected, and life could continue more or less normally. Also, the sun would, for that hour, stop helping to break up large asteroids that could have potentially ended life on Earth. However, it takes about 250 years for an asteroid to break down through this process, so this single hour probably wouldn't make much of a difference. That said, there still could be some effects, even from this short time without a sun. The sun surrounds the solar system in a heliosphere, a bubble of solar wind, which protects us from cosmic rays and dust from outside the solar system. Without it, we could see more cosmic radiation entering the solar system, which could have a number of unexpected effects. Plus, we can't discount how freaky it would be for the world to suddenly be thrust into utter darkness. It might not be apocalyptic in the end, but it would certainly seem that way for that hour. This could result in a pretty hectic hour on Earth, with many believing their lives about to end. Lots of looting, destruction, and probably a good many deaths could result. And now we return to our question, what if the sun disappeared for one hour? Well, not too much would happen, because one hour wouldn't make a huge difference in our orbit, since we're so far from the sun. 
However, it's possible that the cosmic radiation entering our solar system would have a number of unpredictable effects, both on life and technology. Plus, the fear of what was happening would bring out the worst in some people, resulting in looting, disorder, and possibly death. Lucky for us, barring any crazy disasters or alien interference, the sun will probably be alive and well for many, many years. Thank you for watching Life's Biggest Questions. I hope this was interesting and informative and maybe inspired you to look into it further on your own. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe and all that jazz down below. While you're down there, let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Now before I go, here are some of my favorite comments from my last video entitled, What if the sun was one inch further away? Colton Sawyer said, You guys just made this video, in the video about it being an inch closer. You said nothing would happen if it moved in any direction for millions of miles. Why not try for new ideas instead of the same thing over and over? Yeah, I think this is totally valid criticism, and hopefully we'll start to see less similar videos moving forward, for your sake and mine. Broken One Lightbulb suggested perhaps the biggest question ever asked, how often does the CW Flash have to poop? And honestly, as ridiculous as that question is, I think I'd still have more to say about it than about the sun being one inch further. That's it for me guys, so until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Life's Biggest Questions, wishing you the best of luck on your quest for answers.